Hey guys, uh, I'm Luca with Hook. I'm here to show you how uh, we finish the legs before assembly. So when they come off the CNC bed, as you can see, they're uh, rough cut, so the edges are really sharp. Uh, no real details to them. Uh, so we'll put a stack here of uh, roughly cut legs and then run them through the routing process. Uh, so we're in the middle of moving, so it's not the final route router setup, but uh, it's actually pretty good. We have all three stations here on one table. Uh, the first step is to give it this nice round over on the uh, edges of the leg. So we'll use um, this fillet bit here and just run the legs through on both sides. Um, give it a nice even uh, rounded edge. For the next step, uh, we'll take the rough leg, run it here uh, on the 45 bit, and this will give it a nice little minor edge along here, so it's not so sharp when you're handling the leg, and also gives it a, a nice aesthetic detail. And then the final step uh, is creating this finger pull detail. Uh, so we set up this jig for now, uh, which actually works pretty well. And uh, all we do is take the leg in, run it in and out, and there you go. Your finger pull detail is done. Uh, we'll put them in this stack here, and then these get taken to the assembly line later to, to be finalized and put together with the, the top. So after we've uh, routed the legs, uh, one more step before assembly, we actually have to organize these legs by width. Um, so what makes the strength of the hook system is the tolerance between the thickness of the leg and the sleeve it's going to fit in, so it has to be really precise. So we achieve that level of precision with the CNC, but um, the material comes in different thicknesses. So that we have less control over. So every leg is measured with the calipers and then sorted out on the shelf here uh, up to 100th of an inch, uh, which allows us to match the leg width with the sleeves. So really we have a combination of a high precision uh, CNC machining uh, combined with uh, handcraft to really get these uh, nice uh, rounded legs. and user interface that we've been working on uh, at the shop. Um, so most of this is going to be done uh, in Illustrator, um, just kind of like laying out kind of the steps of how you're going to assemble your hook furniture once you receive it. And with that, we have just five easy steps to get your hook furniture in order. This is just a first copy print of what we've been working on. Um, and you can see what I'm talking about, those, those five steps with the legal information and then you have just some very quick information about the product. Uh, we did two of these to start out with. One of them is this and the other one is just a very simple kind of graphic and bit of information about the company. Uh, both of these pieces are designed to fit into this shipper container, um, which will then be obviously filled with some stickers for you guys uh, and then placed directly in the inside. So it'll be the first thing that you see when you open up your hook box. What's up guys? Uh, so behind me here we have the four different types of HDPE that we use for the furniture. We have the white half inch, the white one inch, the black half inch and the black one inch. Um, and as you might, we were experiencing a little delay uh, in the fabrication because we're getting inconsistent material thicknesses. 
So as Luca was mentioning earlier, we machine to a very, very high degree of tolerance uh, to beyond the one hundredth of an inch but we can only be as accurate as the materials that we get in the door. So we've had to come up with a solution on the fly to be able to use all these materials and not delay the fabrication too much. So if you want to come with me, I'll show you our solution. So the material that we use is meant to be exactly one inch, but we found that we're getting anywhere from 0.092 up to 1.01. .01. So what that means is we have a, a matching sleeve for every thickness of leg that we've received. Um, so you just get a more finely crafted piece of furniture that clicks together effortlessly. What's up guys? I just wanted to take you through uh, our packing process for fulfilling the hook orders. So we're here at the packing station and I have a hook home office desk on the table. So we've designed the boxes so they fold open like this. Um, and then on the inside we have a protective layer of card. Now we've CNC cut that card away so when you open up the box, you kind of reveal some of the materials of the product inside. Um, we thought that would be a nice effect. So to protect the desk is include one inch honeycomb around all sides of the, uh, all surfaces of the desk. So that's going to ensure that it arrives to you in pristine condition. Um, we also have another layer of card underneath the top surface of the desk and uh, some recyclable foam paper that will protect it from any kind of scratches. So it's very well protected and uh, as you can see we have a, a lot of orders ready to go out. All the boxes are ready so yeah it's a very exciting time. Okay, so that's it for this week's vlog. If you liked the video, smash that thumbs up button and remember to subscribe, hit the bell notification so you get notified whenever we upload a new vlog. Uh, we post every Sunday morning at 7 a.m. Um, if you have any comments or questions, drop them down below. We try to respond to uh, everything that we get. So thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll catch you next time.